a system designed to protect against an immediate death after respawn, returns in Black Ops Cold War. But how exactly does it work? And what exactly are you protected from? The Call of Duty Spawn Protection System, coming up. Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, I'm sure at some point we've all experienced the effects of the Call of Duty spawn protection system, but most of us probably aren't sure exactly how it works. In today's video, I'll break down all the details so you'll no longer be caught off guard with enemies surviving your attacks in the spawn area. We'll use recruit bots in a private match to demonstrate how the spawn protection system works. The system in use in Black Ops Cold War is a very simple time-based system. After respawn, you'll be protected by the spawn protection system for exactly five seconds. During this time period, no explosive damage will be endured whatsoever from score streaks, launchers, or explosive equipment. Even a stuck Semtex will deal no damage during the spawn protection period. In addition, the red targeting box won't be visible to piloted score streaks, and you'll be immune to attacks from automated score streaks. It's important to note that the spawn protection system won't prevent bullet damage, so damage dealt with gunfire will be unaffected. And interestingly, since the Death Machine score streak deals bullet damage, it's unaffected by spawn protection. The Chopper Gunner is unique as each round deals explosive damage within a small radius. As a result, only a direct hit on an enemy will deal damage during the 5 second spawn protection period. Now that we understand the duration of protection, we can calculate an approximate spawn protection zone. A player sprinting with an assault rifle equipped will travel about 30 meters in 5 seconds. And since most enemies will immediately sprint back into action after a respawn, we can estimate the approximate dimensions of what we'll call the spawn protection zone. Using Nuketown as an example, we can easily see players which spawn in either of the primary spawn locations will have ample time to clear the spawn area and seek cover in the buildings during the 5 second protection period. In fact, most of the 6v6 maps have buildings well within 30 meters of their primary spawns. As a result, being patient and backing off from the spawn area with streaks such as the War Machine will save ammo and produce much more reliable results. The spawn protection system, while probably necessary, feels at times like a blessing and at other times like a curse. But this leads us to an important question. Do we actually need spawn protection? I believe that we do, but the current system is much too strong. The 5 second immunity provides ample time to seek cover in a building, making already fairly weak score streaks even weaker. Of course, this is just my opinion, and I would like to hear from you guys. Is the spawn protection system balanced as is, or does it need a change? Let me know in the comment section down below, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.